Microsoft Excel 2010, the Format Painter. There will probably be times in Excel when you want to apply consistent formatting over multiple places in your workbook. Now, if I know what these are up front, I can simply just make those changes. So if I want to make these headings bold and a little bit bigger, I can make them bold and make them 12 point. And if I want to make them Arial as opposed to Calibri, I could go ahead and do that, just make them Arial. I can make all those changes because those cells are contiguous and because I know I want to do it. If you want to apply formatting after the fact or in non-contiguous or non-touching areas, the Format Painter can be really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Burlington Profits cell here, which is Calibri in 14 point. I'm also going to make it italic just to sort of have some other formatting in here. Now I want to apply this formatting other places in my workbook. To do this, I will use the Format Painter. The Format Painter is right here in our Home tab in the Clipboard region. The way to do this is to simply click on the cell that has the formatting you want. Now, my A3 cell is centered, it's bold, and it's italic. It's also Calibri and 14 point. Those are the attributes that it will copy and paint onto other cells. So by clicking on the Format Painter, I can now click where I would like this to apply, and it changes. Now, the rub with doing that is it only changed it one place. However, if I double click the Format Painter, one, two, I can now click on cells over and over again and have it take effect. If you use the double click method, when you're finished with the Format Painter, you have two options. You can either click the Escape key on your keyboard to get out of the Format Painter, or I can go up to the Format Painter button. Now I can tell that I still have the Format Painter on because of that little paintbrush that goes with my cursor. So to turn off the Format Painter, I will just come up to my Home tab, hover over the Format Painter, and turn it off. And that's how we can use the Format Painter in Microsoft Excel 2010.